What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use overlays inside Stream Elements OBS Live. If you don't know what Stream Elements is, it's a streaming platform that is a competitor to OBS and to Stream Labs. It's free and it's awesome and I think it's better than Stream Labs. So if you want to try it out, you can find a download link in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we have stream elements open right here. I went ahead and created a fresh scene so we can start this from scratch together. And first thing I want to do in my scene is go to my sources, right click, and I'm going to add a source just so we can see this stuff in action. I'm going to go over to display capture, and then I'm going to capture my right display. All right. So I have this up in my right display so we can see what the overlay is going to look like. So next, let's go ahead and load up stream elements. So if you go over to streamelements.com, you're going to see its splash page and it's going to allow you to log in a few different ways. The top four are Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Mixer. I've linked mine to my Twitch, so I'm going to click Twitch and it's automatically going to log me in because I've already logged into this. So here we are, Scrapyard Plays. In here, you're going to see your dashboard, which shows you a bunch of information that is really awesome, but I explained that in a previous video, so we're going to skip that. We're going to jump right into overlays. So you're going to have two buttons over here that you're going to primarily use, Themes Gallery and My Overlays. In Themes Gallery, this is where you're going to be able to choose the overlays that Stream Elements provides. So we're going to select that first. And in here, you're going to see a bunch of overlays that get added regularly. And they're really awesome. And there's two different types that you can see. If we go down, you're going to see animated scenes and you're going to see static scenes. Both are really good, but animated is going to be a little bit more demanding on your stream rather than static. So if you have a weaker computer, it's probably beneficial to go static. But I'm going to use animated just for this tutorial. If you select one of these, it's going to show you a preview of what each overlay looks like. And they have different scenes you can check out. So if you're satisfied with it, let's go ahead and create overlay. And then it wants you to name it. I'm going to name it My Overlay. But you can be more descriptive because you can have multiple overlays on your account depending on what game you want to play or whatever mood you're feeling. But I'm just going to call this My Overlay. And then I'm going to say Create My Overlay. Next, it's going to generate five links. You don't have to worry about these right now, but they are going to be beneficial in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and see my theme in overlays which it's going to take you to your overlays tab over here. In here, you're going to see all the overlays that you have. These are my overlays that I use on a regular basis. And here are the tutorial overlays. Each one is labeled for a different scene. So we have a starting soon scene. We have a talking scene. I'll be right back. A thanks for watching stream has ended and an in-game stream. So for this purpose, we're just going to edit this one. To edit them, you have a few options down here. We have a duplicate overlay, which lets you copy this scene. Delete, of course, that just means remove. Edit. And then we have a launch overlay. So we click a little edit button and it's going to bring us to our overlay editing window, which has a bunch of little options here. So when you look at this, it may look a little bit intimidating right off the bat, but it's actually pretty simple. You're going to see some things that are faded like this, and that means they are not in view and they're not showing up on your overlay. And then you're going to see some solid things like this, and that means that is going to show up in your overlay. The green is going to be removed. So imagine this is transparent. And then a lot of objects are labeled like this one says alert box. That means all your alerts are going to come up here. This is all going to vary depending on what theme you choose. But for this one, we're going to go ahead and edit a few things and then apply it. So right up here, let's just say, oh, my Facebook's not stream elements. If you select stream elements, it's going to bring you to your layer on the left hand side. So let's talk about the left hand side real quick. So your left hand side is going to be where you can make edits on your specific objects in here. So since I selected stream elements next to Facebook, it opened my stream elements layer. And let's say I could change this to Scrapyard plays. It's going to automatically edit it in here. I don't have to mess with the font, the size or anything. It's just going to keep it right there for me. And if I don't like it in that position, I can move it. So if we go down to position and style, let's look at that next. If we select the arrow, it's going to open up all its options. We can choose that width, height and pixels from the top and pixels from the left. The opacity, we can drag that back and forth. The rotation, we can tell it to rotate degrees. And if we go up to text settings, we can choose what type of text, fonts, size, line heights. You have a ton of customization options. If we go to animation settings, we can see how we want it to animate, how we want it to enter. We can say bounce up, bounce down. And so whenever you switch to your scene, that's when the animations will initiate. And then down here is our layers. And this is where we're going to see all of the layers in our overlay, which is a lot. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on but you don't have to change all of it. A lot of it's going to be already prepped and ready for you. You usually just got to change names and social media and stuff like that. So if we move up here to the top, we're going to see another action bar. We're currently in the editor mode, but we can move over to widgets and we can add specific widgets like media requests, hype boss, a bunch of stuff can be added here. Go over to the data. 
Here we can see a lot of internal data that happened with our streams. And then this one, you can see goals, session data, totals, aggregates, and settings. You have a ton of internal options for those people who really want to nail down their stream and get the data looking good. Then we have library where you can add custom sounds, images, videos. You can upload them and use them in your stream there. We have insert where we can insert just text, videos, or images. And then objects is where we can group and ungroup things and duplicate stuff. And then of course over here we have undo, snapping, zoom, full screen, zoom out, mute the audio just in case you're testing follows and stuff, and exit which will bring you back to the previous menu before you started editing. So let's go back to the editor. So now that I've shown you everything, you now know how in depth this can be. So let's just say I've finished editing all this, I'm cool with all this saying stream elements right here, but I want to add it to OBS. First thing you always want to do is save. Once it says saved at the bottom right, click launch, and that's going to give you your URL. No matter what you do in here, this URL is going to stay the same, which is great. We're going to make sure we select it, hit copy, control C. Let's minimize this. Go over to our sources. We're going to right click, add, browser. Let's just say this one's overlay. Hit OK. From here, let's paste our URL right here. Next, we want to match the width and height. So the width, 1920, height, 1080. Custom CSS, we can just delete this. We do not need it. Once we're done with that, let's hit OK. And there it is. Our overlay is now right there. I'm gonna shrink this and bring it up for you. And we see our overlay all right there. Really awesome, super simple. And it's using a browser to bring in this overlay. Now you can't move individual things inside OBS. You're moving this whole object as one entire object, one whole. So if you wanna move individual things out, it's easy. Just bring back up stream elements and then move something. Let's say I wanna move this right here. Hit save, minimize, and it live updates. And once you got it looking the way you want, you're totally good. You hit save, it'll update whatever you've done, and your stream will be looking awesome. It uses a lot less resources than Streamlabs and regular OBS using this kind of web-based overlay. And the best part is if your computer crashes or something like that, once you reinstall everything, all you gotta do is log back into Stream Elements get that URL and then plop it back into your scene and then you're good to go. You have your overlay that you've worked all those hours on saved and it looks really awesome. And so there you have it. You now know how to add an overlay to Stream Elements OBS Live. If you got any questions, shoot them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you want to download Stream Elements, you can in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That'll really help me out down there. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. And once I do, I'm going to give away a free LUT pack for all my video editors who follow me. So thanks again for watching, everybody. I'll see you all in the next video. And I want to give a shout out to all my supporters, especially my super scrappers, LMC, HPL Gamers, and Old Man Beta.